the diligent communal work of bees, particularly honeybees, is often used as an example of selfless service, sacrifice, and purpose that can inspire human behavior and reflect the divine. Welcomed to our world of modern beekeeping. Over the past few years, we ventured into apiculture. We started with apiary number one, until now, we are number 26. Welcome guys, we are in Kiambere. Today we have an apiary here. I'm going to take you through and see the elements that we have applied here. So that if you want to construct an apiary, you must follow these rules or else your apiary will be of no use. Come with me guys. This region has a natural vegetation of Camifera acacia bush with baobab trees being a prominent feature. The hill community forest plays a role in conservation efforts. God created bees primarily to pollinate plants and facilitate the growth of food crops, ensuring a sustainable food supply for humanity and other animals. A lot of farmers in this region practice old ways of beekeeping. This type of beekeeping has challenges whereby they are normal uh, hanged on the trees, bring them down, you get the honey, the hives have uh, a lot of attacks like the, the, the ants, the termites, and also the honey badgers. So the people around here have less honey because of all those attacks and the lack of knowledge. That's why we are here, to give them the latest and the modern way of beekeeping. The region benefits from the It's South Bee Farmers Cooperative Society, which supports local beekeepers and the honey value chain, indicating a developing sector focused on adding value to products like honey. Now, uh, here we've done the chain link and the purpose of this chain link is to protect our hives from the attack of the thieves and some animals like the honey badger. The chain link has gone up to the ground and it is well fixed that the honey badger cannot take it out. And again, as we have been saying before, the unique about our design, we have done the trench. The work of the trench we have explained before from our previous uh, episodes. And here we have applied the trench that has water in it. The purpose of this water is to act as a barrier from the growing insects, the ants, from accessing the apiary. So our bees will be saved from the insects that attack the bees. The trench goes all around the structure as you can see from our second apiary. And if you need the design plan, please follow the instructions below. And our second apiary we have put fish into the water trench to feed on the drowning insects and frog eggs. To maximize the security of our hives, we have to put the bad lock on the entrance. Now, this is the inside of the apiary. As you can see, we've put uh, uh, level one and a level two, whereby this space is going to carry three hives 
and this place we can create hives. There's a way we have done the measurements from one level to another. This space will accommodate three super boxes per hive. So we have measured the space in that you can put more than two supers on top of each hive. Let me take you to the upper stairs because up here we have reinforced the six by one and we have supported it with the three by two timber so that you can walk comfortably without shaking. Let's go up guys. This is our staircase. This is the upper part of the apiary whereby we have the lower part and the upper part. On this lower part, as you see from apiary number one to apiary number 15, we've put hives. When you want to harvest, you just open the hive, do the harvest, or you pull the hive to this center, do the, the checking, do the harvest, then turn your hive where it's supposed to be. Same case to this. Here you can put uh, two to three supers that are a standard size. We have installed the water tank so that we can get enough water to maintain our trench. On the upper wall, we have covered a clear polycarbonate sheets to act as the windbreaker and soundproof from the road. The material brings enough light to the inside surface of the apiary. Light also helps regulate their behavior. While bees are generally diurnal, a bright, Light source at night can trigger a positive phototactic response, drawing them out of the hive. Remember to subscribe and hit the link below to learn more about beekeeping. Thanks for watching and we appreciate for your support. See you in our new apiary from Eldoret. Be blessed.